This is the 2023 Lenovo 14e Chromebook Gen 3, a 14-inch clamshell Chromebook aimed at the education market. The spec I have features the Intel N200 processor, so if you value a fanless Chromebook that still offers snappy performance for general use, this could be one to consider regardless of whether you're classroom based. I unboxed this back in September last year, so I've had a good amount of time using it. I'll link you to my unboxing video at the end of this one, and you can see how I paid just £184 for this as a refurb. That's about $228. US It's well constructed with an aluminium lid and a solid feeling build. Weight-wise, at 1.45 kg, that's about 3.2 pound. It's not unreasonable for a 14-inch Chromebook, but I did find myself occasionally wishing it was just that little bit lighter. It's not the slimmest thing in the world either, which is a little ironic, as if this Chromebook looks familiar, that's because it's essentially the same chassis and board as the Lenovo Slim 3i Chromebook. You may have seen the Chromebook Plus version of that on the channel, I'll link that video at the end also. This particular model spec of the 14e Gen 3 has the Intel N200 processor, which means it's fanless, something I really appreciate in a Chromebook. I'd be interested to hear how important this is to you when selecting a Chromebook, so do let me know in the comments. On the bottom of the Chromebook there are still grills for ventilation, but it's never felt excessively hot to me. I've reviewed a lot of Chromebooks on the channel with the Intel M100 processor, and using the N200 for the first time here, paired with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of eMMC storage, I felt like I could notice some performance gains, yet not much impact on battery life. When managing screen brightness and careful use, I could still easily get into a second day of general use throughout the day, before feeling the need to charge. Recharging with the 65 watt USB-C charger option that came with this one also allowed me to get back up to 80% of the battery in just one hour. Extremely useful whether you're in the classroom or not. Whether you pick up a 14e Gen 3 with the Intel N100, N200 like I have here, or the Core i3 N305, you'll still get Chrome OS updates all the way through to June 2033. Connectivity in general on the 14e Gen 3 is decent. Keep in mind though, you've only got one USB-C port, that's on the left, but you have got a HDMI port version 1.4 over on the right, and that's something some people find more valuable than a second USB-C port. Again, let me know which you prefer in the comments. I found the display nice and bright when needed, looking like it's near the claimed 300 nits of brightness that the Lenovo state. I've got the non-touch version here, so do keep an eye out for the optional touchscreen. That also provides a higher level of color accuracy. At the top of the display, there's the webcam with the privacy slider. The spec I have is just HD, so again, watch out for the full HD option if that's important to you. Outputting to external displays using my USB-C dock was no issue as expected. Running two full HD extended displays and using the Chromebook's display as a third. I really liked having the optional backlit keyboard in this spec, something I didn't have on the Slim 3i Chromebook Plus that I reviewed, but again that is an option in that range too. This keyboard is also spill resistant, typing was fairly reassuring with the well constructed keyboard deck, and it's got medium key travel, however it's not the quietest keyboard. The touchpad is a little on the smaller side, but smooth and responsive. It's another where I did open up the Chromebook to adjust the touchpad slightly from being loose on one side, possibly as it was a refurbished Chromebook. Opening up the Chromebook was fairly straightforward and I think it's helped by this being an education model as they're always going to focus on ease of maintenance. The quality of the speakers isn't the best, as unfortunately they're placed on the bottom of the Chromebook, they're on the front edge as you use it. That's particularly noticeable when you're using it on your lap, of course. If you want to get a full overview of this 14e Gen 3 and the spec options in the range, do check out my unboxing and initial impressions video. That's on the left for you to watch next. Otherwise, if you'd like to see more on the sibling to this Chromebook, the Slim 3i, which shares the same chassis, board, and most of the key spec options in the range, check out the Chromebook Plus version of that in the video on the right now. Cheers.